Hey everyone, Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. Uh, in this video here, I want to walk through using a combination of WPE Store and WP Member to um, protect access to uh, videos um, on your WordPress site. So the way it works is, um, at first I set up this video page here. I'll show you exactly the code that I used to set it up. And basically what happens is, first of all, it determines if the user is logged in and if they have a certain level of access, a certain membership level. And if they do, it grants access to these videos. And I'll show you what that page looks like. But this is the page where, um, where the general public, this is how it would look to the general public, as well as to people that are logged in without sufficient privileges. So basically it says in order to gain access to the content below you'll need to become a member and then it provides login and join here links because if they're already a member they can just log in and of course if they're not they can join so but it also gives them individual access to um, to purchase each video separately now if we wanted to so if they wanted to gain access just to the Juicing Greens video course, for example, they could buy that separately, or else, um, as it says here, if you get premium membership access, you gain access to all the videos. So what our code does in this page, it looks first of all, is the user from is the visitor a public visitor or are they a long logged in visitor with um, insuff insufficient privileges? Either way, they're going to be presented with the options to add the cart. Um, to buy the products here or they can just click the join link which will go to the join the register or join page that we set up okay and once they're once they gain access um, they'll if they visit the the page I just did the juice and greens page here now it says since they're not logged in or they're not and they're not showing su sufficient privileges it's again asking them to either log in or become a member and otherwise add to cart or else you can't gain access to this particular file now the same say okay now I'm going to show you how it looks for for those users that are actually logged in and they have um, sufficient privileges so this is for somebody with premium access the uh, premium membership level so when they see this page um, I set it up so that the image actually links to the video um, each video has its own separate page as you can see here this is the Juice and Greens video course page so this will link to that page only because the person that's logged into this page has sufficient privileges or they can of course click the watch now link okay so now when we're on this page here then they gain access to the video I just put a YouTube video in there for for example's sake. Of course, you'd want to put something that probably served on Amazon or something like that, or a private video. I mean, sorry, an unlisted video on YouTube or something. Um, depends. But anyway, now they have they gain access to the video content that's on this particular page. Whereas if you remember before, it showed this saying, "You sorry, you can't you can't gain access." Now this page, it'll show up just like this for those users that are logged in with sufficient privileges or those users that paid for individual access. And, when, and the user that paid for individual access to the video, as soon as they add the cart and make the purchase, they'll get a, a link, um, just as if they're downloading a product, for example. But they'll get a link, which will bring them directly to this particular page, and it'll set a cookie letting the script know that yes they do have access to this uh, to this video even though they don't have full privileges for uh, like premium level membership for example okay so now here's how I set up the page um, first of all I can set up the product product with the price there and then here's where it's very specific. Okay, so I had a page set up. Okay, so Juicing Greens video course. 
and I set this page up and I got the exact path to the page. I didn't set up permalinks or anything on this site. So you see page ID equals 79. So in the store, under digital product URL, that's where we're going to put in. But we're going to specify this protocol, APRTP. So we can replace HTTP with APRTP. And what this will do is when somebody makes the purchase, it'll actually send them to this, um, to this page here. Okay, and I uncheck downloadable, and that's it. That's the only settings I made on here. You can obviously tweak the rest of the settings if necessary. And here's the code for this page. Now, it looks all jumbled up, and the only reason I did that is because if you don't jumble it up like that, it creates a lot of white space. So I'll show you here. Um, At the very top it says, okay, if this person is in level 2 membership, which is our premium level, then show the video. So you could put whatever HTML on there. And this is protect all this content within here is protected content. And it only shows for those with, with a level 2 membership level. And we can check our membership level IDs right here. I'll show you. premium level membership is two and that's why that's a number two in there now also this is all jumbled up again but it's for okay it's just uh, so there wasn't extra white space but basically what ha what, do we, what do we got here is This is the, what's going to show up for those not in membership level 2. So this is for all users that are logged in but um, do not have sufficient privileges or they don't have membership level 2. Okay, so then when, what happens? Okay, we got here. It, just because they're not level 2 when they're logged in, they still may have paid for individual access to the video. So that's what this short code does here. It checks for the cookie, and if it's unexpired, then it'll provide access to the video. Otherwise, if the cookie is expired, it means that they no longer have access to the particular video. So it just provides a message saying you have to pay for access, and here's the buy now button. So I just put the, uh, well actually the add to cart button I put in there for that. And this code down here is exactly the same as this code except this code is for those that are logged in without membership level 2 and this this code is for those that are not logged in so, so the general public when they land on this page they're gonna get the ex exact same thing. Um, of course if they paid for individual access to the video they'll gain access whether they're logged in or not they're gonna gain access. So you can actually use this even if you don't have the e e-member plugin installed. This particular shortcode is part of eStore. So this gives somebody individual access to particular content on a page if they paid for individual access, if the cookie's unexpired. And just like up there, just like this code, if the cookie is expired, it's going to indicate that they need to pay for it or they need to log in to gain access. So that's that. Now, as far as the, the video course page that displays all the particular videos, here's how it's set up here. So I have it at the very top where it says, where it shows, okay, this, it's just a welcome message basically. Um, for individuals that are that have membership level access, the, the proper membership level access of two. So it's going to show a message, we appreciate your, you becoming a member, enjoy the unlimited access. And that automatically creates watch buttons, watch links, rather than add to cart buttons, it'll create watch now because it is a, it is a member that's logged in and they do have access so it, there's a watch now link that shows up. 
So here's the table that I created to show the uh, the videos, the thumbnails for the videos basically. And I just got fancy and I made it so that if they are logged in and they have sufficient privileges, it actually shows a link. The image will be a link instead of just a plain image. That's not necessary. I just wanted to do that. And then this here will show us, okay, so for those for those members that are logged in with sufficient access, membership level of two, they'll get a link to watch the video. And those are not logged in at all, so the general public will get a buy now button. And of course, those that are logged in but do not have level two access We'll get a buy now button as well or an add to cart button and that's the same for all the other video products i just put uh, i only created one product for example sake so i just put id equals one in all of them but of course there'll be a different id for each product that you create and that's it so that's that's what determines what shows up here whether it be a watch now link for members or a add to cart button for non-members And then again, on the individual video page, it'll show the video for those that have sufficient access or for those who have made individual pur purchases for videos. It serves both purposes. And then if they don't have access, they'll be able to buy, buy access with the Add to Cart button. Or they can become a full member with premium access to give them access to all the content that exists on this page. And that's it. So in the article where this video will be embedded, I'm going to provide all the code that I use so you can customize it for your needs. Thanks for watching. Again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Have a great day.